Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video I will discuss about the last step on how to apply for the USMLE exams that is Medical Education Credential Verification. At the end of this video I will also give you information on Electronic Credential Verification. So far I have shown you how to get an USMLE ID, apply for the ECFMD certification, submit form 186, submit online part of the application, and my last video was on form 183 or how to complete status verification. You must complete these 5 steps if you want to apply for the USMLE exams. Although you will find all the information on ECFMD website, but it is really hard particularly for the beginners to understand the whole process, how it works. That's why I am making this series of videos so that you can apply smoothly for the USMLE exams. If you haven't checked those yet, please click the link on the top or in the description below. If you have a particular question, please comment down below. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with your friends and turn on the notification bell icon so that you do not miss any of my new videos. Now let's get started. ECFMG will verify every international medical graduate's final medical diploma with your medical school that issued the diploma. International medical graduates must document the completion of the final medical diploma. Now how can you do that? Through verification. So how does it work? You can send your final medical degree to ECFMD by mail or upload through ECFMD credential upload tools. After that what ECFMD will do? ECFMD will send this medical diploma to your medical school for the verification. In addition, ECFMD will also request your medical school to provide with your final medical school transcript. Your medical credential verifications are not considered until ECFMG receives and accepts your final medical diploma, medical school's transcript, and any other required documents directly from your medical school. Please note that do not send any of your original documents as those will not be returned to you, only photocopies or scanned copies. At the same time, do not send any credentials not required by the ECFMG such as licenses, certificates of full registration, high school diploma, academic awards. This will unnecessarily delay your application process. You can always check the status of your medical education credentials on online application status and information system. Now I will talk a little bit about electronic credentials verification. So electronic verification is free for your medical schools and makes the process of verifying credentials faster, easier and more efficient. Through this program, authorized medical school officials can verify the credentials over the internet rather than using the traditional paper-based process. Here you can see the median response time from your medical school is 55 days in case of paper-based verification. On the other hand, it is only 5 days when it comes to electronic verification. This electronic credential verification also eliminates the need to complete verification using Form 327A. When I have completed this process, ECFMD send Form 327A to my medical school. If your school does not participate in electronic verification, your school might get this Form 327A from ECFMG. Now what happens next? Once ECFMG verifies that you are eligible and your registration is complete, your scheduling permit will be issued. If you apply for more than one exam at the same time, you will be issued separate scheduling permit for each exam. ECFMG will send your scheduling permit to the email address in your ECFMG account. The scheduling permit is a very important document. It includes your assigned eligibility period, a description of the form of identification that you must bring to the test center on your exam day, and instructions for scheduling your testing appointment. You can schedule your testing appointment as soon as you obtain your exam scheduling permit. You must bring your scheduling permit to the test center on your exam day. That's how the whole process works. And with this, you are done with your USMLE exam application. That's all for today. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with your friends, and turn on the notification bell icon so that you do not miss any of my new videos. This will really encourage me to make more videos like this. I greatly appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much for watching.